Hello there guys and gals, this is Dip Behemoth1998 and I have these two ratchets here. Now these ratchets, you can find them in um, AutoZone and Harbor Freight. These are the cheapest ratchets you can get in the market at the moment. To loosen or tighten nuts, you just have to turn this thing right here, as you can see right. But these are very cheap though, you know. These you can probably get in for like 3-4 bucks in AutoZone. And then at Harbor Freight, you get a whole set of these for five bucks, you know, the whole set. That's where I got this one from, and this one too, but I need an older model maybe. <sighs> so the inside, simple. Once you remove the spring the lock, which is in the side, I just think and focus. I don't think you will. So as you can see, you know, it's right there. So once you take it off, you can just take it all apart. It's just two pieces. Now this piece is where you turn it left or right, you know. And this will grab the teeth on the on the wheel. And yeah, once you turn left or right on this damn thing right here, you can switch the thing right here. These things. It's not complicated at all. It's pretty easy to understand, but uh. Yeah, the reason why these things just fail so easily is because of the teeth. Look, take a look at them. You see it? There, it's just, it's just bad. Like it's okay for small work, you know. You, you, I don't think you could take out a tire with this thing, but you could take out a spark plug, maybe a hub. Nah, I don't think so. A hub's too hard for this thing, and some other things in the car, you know. But or home homies, but really, it's not that good, you know. If you want something better, just. Spend more money on Harbor Friend and get a $15 ratchet. It's worth it, or I actually got a $10 composite one, but nah, I just go for a better one, you know. $15, mo $15 minimum, three fourths, you know, like this, you know. But this, this is crap, you know, so it's not good enough. Or get a snap on one, you know, those are well over 100 bucks, but they'll last you a long time. Maybe no, even a lifetime, you know. Plus, it has a guarantee on them, too. This is pretty good constructed, but the only thing that turns me down is just these teeth right here. Now on the, um, on the Craftsman, the teeth are actually on this thing, and the switch, you know, as you can see right here, it's right here on the side. So every time you turn, you know, but it has a low teeth count like this one too. Step one has above 72 or 76. They actually have 80 teeth now, you know, you can get the 100 teeth one, but it's more expensive. But I really don't recommend getting this ratchet if you're going to be a actual mechanic. It's good for small work, like I said, for a beginner, do some breaks, you know, but... Honestly, you know, there's, there's better things out there. This right here is worth it enough, you know, to, this is worth five bucks, definitely, but you should get something professional, professional line. The professional Harbor Freight tools are cool. These starter ones, they're all right, you know, to play with and stuff, but honestly, they're, they're crap if you're going to be an actual mechanic. All right, that's it, guys. Have a good time, guys. Goodbye.